you don't know what you're supposed to do and somehow it all just comes together. And then you don't know why you wouldn't have known it in the first place. By studying geometry, we can uh, think about our first principles, think about our underlying assumptions, and think about how we use reasoning skills and logic skills to put those arguments together. Geometry itself is a way to think about those underlying assumptions and from those assumptions just build up this huge body of knowledge. And I don't think people understand that big picture of how all of this fits together and how it has to be the way that it is. We do a disservice to young people by not teaching them all the steps in mathematics because it's liberating to know them. And by discarding Euclid, you have cut them off from a way to understand logic from which all accurate reasoning comes. And you've cut them off from also understanding the beauty of the relationships in nature. Most of you might experience your geometry and other math classes to be about calculation and formulas and memorization. But in our study of geometry, and in particular the study of Euclidean geometry, the core question and concern is not so much how and how we calculate, but rather why. We will be looking at logic, we'll be looking at reasoning skills, we'll be getting into the mind of Euclid and trying to understand how he put these pieces together, how he organized this. So I hope as we go forward in this course that you'll have that eureka moment where you can understand how it all fits together. I'm Thomas Trelor. And I am David Murphy. This is our course in mathematics and logic. Let's begin.